Morning folks, Hobo Handliner here. So it has been a long time since I did a float rig video with live bait. So I'm out here, we've had a lot of uh, mild weather that has thawed out all the snow and all the ice. It's still frozen in the back portion of the lake, but yesterday the water was uh, really, really cloudy and just a lot of silt and stuff pushing in. Today it's down a tiny bit and it's a little bit clearer, but still stained. So it should be a good day to go float fishing with some live red worms. So I got my dagger fish hand reel here, rigged up with the casting bubble and a little Aberdeen hook. We're gonna adjust our depth, see if any bluegill or trout or anything are down there. Um, yesterday the trout were biting, um, but they stopped biting once the water got so cloudy that they couldn't see anything. Um, so that's the plan today. Uh, I am wearing, am wearing shorts and my junky sneakers in case uh, a fish tries to get lost in the reeds and I have to go in after them and get them. It's not too cold. I shouldn't, you know, freeze my, my legs too bad if I have to hop in this water. Plus it's a little bit warmer water anyways with all the rain we've been having. So I'm dressed pretty light today. Should, uh, should have some fun, see if there's any fish. I'm excited. Again, there's that rig. Little piece of split shot uh, between the float and the hook. So I'll adjust that depth down. Probably started about 20, 24 inches deep. Enough talk guys, I'll see you after that intro. All right guys, so the only worms that Walmart had that weren't dead was this brand here, the uh, big red worms. Give you an idea of the size of these. Um, good size, pretty much for all around. They're way smaller than a night crawler, but they're big enough to cover that Aberdeen hook I'm using. So again, I'll show you this rig, we'll get them hooked up. Um, just a light wire, I think it's a size six Aberdeen hook. Just your standard like gold colored light wire panfish hook. Hopefully we don't hook into anything too big, otherwise we will lose them using this this rig. Um, these hooks are not good for big fish. They do tend to uh, bend out pretty easily because they are light wire, but there we go. Got them hooked up about three times through the body and we'll start with a leader about, yeah, about two feet. So there we go, we got a twist locked on there piece of split shot midway through, and then that worm. And if we're not getting any bites, uh, we'll cast different distances closer to shore, farther away from shore, and we'll adjust that depth. And that's how uh, this float fishing rig works. You just pretty much gotta find the fish. Hopefully they're down there. Let's get fishing. Well guys, we're getting bites. I'm letting it drift way out there, letting this current take it. And about 50 feet out, there's a school of some type of fish. I don't know if it's bluegill or what. But I got a bunch of back-to-back -back bites without a hook set. They were taking the bobber under. I might have stolen my bait, I don't know. It 
See how I'm unspooling it to let the current take it out, get it to where they're biting? Nice thing about these hand reels is you can do that. Just unspool and let it get carried in any type of current. Is that a bite? Or is that? All right, yeah, I think, I think we're out of bait, guys. Let's get a couple more worms on there and um, let it drift again about 50 to 60 feet out. See if we can get it back in that strike zone. But I did have like three or four back-to-back -back bites. So these worms, um, a single worm wasn't really getting any attention, so I had to ball them up and put two on there, and I started getting um, some action. Might be because it's covering up the hook more, and they can't really see that gold hook. Not really sure. Maybe they just are looking for bigger bites to eat. But yeah, I'm pretty sure my bait is not on here anymore so something picked it off i think yep it's all gone all right so that means i stopped getting bites because literally i was out of bait so let's get baited back up and get her back out there but we're going with more of like a 30 inch leader now that's what we ended up switching to and that guy got some action with the two worms so let's get baited up and see if we can get one of these fish Well, I just set the hook too hard, snapped the line at the base of my reel, and I can see my bobber out there floating around. There's a fish on there. I got a hook set. It seemed like a decent trout, too, because he came to the surface and jumped, tried to spit that line. And sometimes I'm just too forceful with this thing when I do that yank, you know, pull the slack with my right hand and set the hook with my left hand. Had that happen too many times with uh, this cheaper eight pound, six to eight pound line. But I do have another float with me, so nothing to do but carry on. Oh well. There we go, guys. Right there, about 15 foot from the bank. Nice, good sized stalker rainbow there. That's why persistence pay off, pays off. Don't get discouraged. You know, I had another float on me. I knew I was getting bites. And there we go. Oh, good hook set too on him. Top of the mouth. He was not getting off. So that's about a 10 inch stalker rainbow. Good sized fish. And now we do know that it's confirmed. It is trout down there biting these worms. So let's put this guy on the old stringer. And uh, see if we can catch two more, get our three trout limit. There we go. First fish, right on. There we go, guys. There's another trout. Ooh, ooh, good fight on this one. Seems like we got a pretty good hook set. No, no, don't go towards the bank. Whoa, big trout. Really big trout. Whoa. Huge trout. Come on, get away from that bank. Whoa! Whoa! Monster trout. Whoa! Hello! Okay. Holy crap! Um, 
okay. Um, guys, holy cow. That is the biggest trout I've ever caught on the hand line. I just broke my PB. <laughs> holy crap. Holy crap, guys. That is every bit of... Oh, well, maybe that ties my PB. I don't know. I'll have to get a measurement on this guy. Let's measure him right now while I'm thinking about it. Holy crap. Well, this video will be going up sooner rather than later. I thought I was going to be scheduling it as a premiere for later, but let's, let's see what we got on the length on this guy. Holy cow. Uh, that's eight from there down plus another seven. 15 inch rainbow. Uh, this thing isn't very accurate and I definitely kind of rounded down, but um, I, uh, I'm gonna say anywhere between 16 and 18 inches. I don't have an actual tape measure with me. <sighs> okay, big boy or girl, probably girl. Holy cow. Let's get a picture of this guy, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get this guy off that hook. Big old trout. I'm very, very pumped for this fish. I can't believe he didn't bend out that little bitty Aberdeen hook. This is the size of fish that normally might get off this type of hook. This is a very light wire hook here, guys, but he, meant he was all the way through the nostril. So even if it had been, he probably wouldn't have gotten away on that double red worm float rig. Holy crap, guys. I mean, that's a big fish. Huge rainbow. Let's get him on the stringer and get one more, and then we'll wrap this video up. Okay, guys. Uh, the bite completely died off. It is getting towards you know, late morning, um, usually about that time when the bike dies off. So I'm not going to waste any more time. Show you that huge fish one more time. Uh, yeah, no sense beating my head against the wall. If they're not biting, they're not biting, and that's okay. Didn't get that third one, but most trout fishermen know that last trout is the hardest one to catch whenever you're trying to catch a limit. But uh, I'm definitely more than happy with this. Obviously, they're still feisty because I had them on the stringer. But, I mean, just look at that fish, guys. That dwarfs the other one. And that is huge. So time for me to get some pictures, get them home, clean them up. And uh, finish the rest of my weekend. So, appreciate you guys watching. Sticking around till the end if you did. Uh, yeah, this one was a lot of fun. That's um, probably... Probably ties the biggest trout I've caught uh, with the hand reel. So that's good stuff. I'll be uh, making some Instagram posts showing this bad boy off because that's definitely one to be proud of. Anyways, guys, I'm the Hobo Handliner, and I am signing off for the day. I'll see you in the next one.